All right, we got negative two thirds n is less than or equal to two. I'm gonna show you guys two different ways that you can solve this. There's probably a million other ways, but choose which way you like and then stick with it. So one way you can get rid of a fraction in front of a variable is to multiply by the reciprocal, which means you take that fraction and you just flip it upside down. So that would be times negative three over two. We'd have to do the same thing on the other side. Now remember, two is a fraction, it's two over one. Keep in mind, I'm trying to trick you here. We multiply both sides by a negative. We gotta flip that inequality sign. Now it's gonna be going this way. So if we multiply, two times negative three is negative six. One times two is two. Negative six over two is negative three. So there would be our final answer for the inequality. N is greater than or equal to negative three. Another way you can do it, if you remember from our equation chapter, you can multiply out the fractions right away by just multiplying by the denominator. The denominator is three in this case. Three times negative two is negative six, divided by three is negative two. It just cancels out the denominator if it's the same. So we'd have negative two n over here, and then three times two is six. Negative two n is less than or equal to six, Divide both sides by negative two. Remembering to flip that inequality, we get n is greater than or equal to negative three. Same answer. So if you can remember the reciprocal, hey, that was pretty quick, right? Just one step. If you wanna do it in two steps, we're essentially doing the reciprocal. You're multiplying by a three and you're dividing by a two. Although the negative thing, just switch the order there, but we're all good. Then we gotta chuck that on a number line greater than or equal to, solid dot, shaded to the right. If the letter is first, then follow the arrow.